What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today is Wednesday, which of course means it's time for another Western New York Wednesday here on the channel. And the beer I'm reviewing today once again comes from the Mortalis Brewing Company, and they are out of Avon, New York, and this is their Tears of the Goddess, the Carrot Cake variant. So they are calling this one a sour IPA that is brewed with natural flavors. We'll talk about that in a second. Comes in at 7% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listen. time of review. This can is approximately two weeks old. So uh, when it comes to Mortalis, I've had a lot of the beers from them that I've really wanted to try over the years except for this one. This is like a bucket list beer from Mortalis. Uh, when they first released it, I didn't get my uh, hands on it. They've released it a couple of times since then, and my channel was on hiatus for the vast majority of 2021. And yeah, finally got my hands on it. I went to the brewery, picked this one up a couple weeks ago, and I'm really excited because as I've gotten older, uh, I've really come to enjoy carrot cake. As a uh, kid or even you know in my earlier years, didn't really like carrot cake, but in the last five years or so, I love carrot cake. It's delicious. So anyway, now again, they say this is a sour IPA brewed with natural flavors. They say that they're basically brewing this one with uh, Cheesy Eddie's carrot cakes, uh, carrot cakes. And on both Untapped and their Instagram, they say they're using uh, lactose. They're brewing it with lactose, uh, cream cheese frosting. They're using, they say, mountains of cake, which Cheesy Eddie's carrot cake. They're also brewing this one with carrot puree and spices. So they're trying to replicate a carrot cake in 7% uh, sour IPA form. I'm here for it. Now, Cheesy Eddie's, I've had their carrot cake numerous times, really delicious. It's like a bakery slash uh, dessert um, place. And they have a location in Henrietta, New York, um, that's not that far from AJ's Beer Warehouse, where I go all the time. So I've went there multiple times, had their carrot cake, a bunch of other desserts, and they're delicious. So I'm hoping this is delicious. I don't know why they choose a sour IPA uh, base for this beer, but I'm just hoping it tastes like carrot cake because that's the whole point of this beer. Oh God, yeah, we have an explosion here. Cool. So I hope, and I've kept this cold the entire time. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is pour the rest in. And I don't usually do this, but this is why I like this tabletop. Anyway, I'm gonna jump cut, be right back. All right, we're back and uh, yeah, that was interesting. So that was the first time I've had a beer explode on me since bringing the channel back in October of 2021. And with this new tabletop, it was super simple to wipe up, so I'm really happy about that. It took me a couple minutes, and we're good. Now, the funny thing is, when uh, it exploded, and then I started cleaning up, I could smell this beer. But we're going to go with the appearance first, because we didn't do the appearance. So let's do the appearance first, then we'll talk about the aroma. As you can see, it's leaving uh, a lacing here around of, uh, you know, the fruit puree, carrot cake puree, whatever you want to say. But it has this really dirty, this looks on it, honestly like almost like an oxidized, uh, hazy, say, IPA or double IPA. That's what it looks like. Um, but yeah, it had about a half a finger of this uh, off-white head and is now dissipated to a thin film with all those, uh, you know, all the, all the ingredients and adjuncts and whatnot. But yeah, anyway, the nose. I already know what it smells like because, again, I smelled it from a distance and it smelled crazy. Dude, that smells like a carrot cake in beer form. It basically smells like a tart carrot cake. The cream cheese frosting is hitting me. The spices are hitting me. It just smells. If you've ever opened, you know, uh, say you got a single slice of carrot cake or even like an entire cake itself once you first it first hits you it's, it's all that you know cream cheese and like the spices and whatnot that's what i'm smelling here but i'm getting like a tartness behind it i'm actually smelling a little bit of the carrot like you would from a carrot cake but it's not you know crazy or anything there's not much more to say about this nose it smells like a, car a carrot cake in beer form with a little bit of tartness it smells delicious it's making my mouth water and i can't wait to get into it. so let's see what it has to offer cheers everyone the fuck <laughs> what am i drinking i don't know what i'm drinking do not know the <laughs> what the fuck i'm drinking i have no idea Body in this, despite the fact they're using like carrot puree, cheese, uh, carrot cake, the whole nine, this is like lower side of medium bottom, uh, medium body. It's it's not as thick as I thought. It's kind of watery to some degree. It's undercarbonated, so it's soft and it's smooth, not really creamy. Body mouthfeel lacking a little bit. That's probably the worst thing about this beer. Why? Do you like carrot cake? Yes. Then you'll probably love this beer. Do you hate carrot cake? 
Yes, then you won't like this beer. This is carrot cake. This is a carrot cake beer. It tastes like someone liquefied a carrot cake, put it into a sour beer, but the beer is not really that sour. It's more tart and it's almost, almost refreshing. It's definitely sweet though. So this is going to be a really easy one to break down. Right at the forefront, carrot cake. Passes through the palate, carrot cake. Finishes, carrot cake. Underlying tartness. This has a semi-dry kind of finish on the back of the palate, but it is sweet. This is a really sweet beer. There's no denying it. There's enough dryness to kind of keep it in check to some degree, but I've said this before. I'll say it again. I've been saying it a lot more recently. This is a beer I'd like in a 12-ounce can or a six, one of those um, eight-ounce cans, those small cans. You want to split this one. Preferably, I'd split this one with somebody uh, maybe two or three ways so we each get eight, you know, five to eight ounces of it because I think this entire can's a bit too much for me. Yeah, I think it would be a bit too much to drink this entire can. Um, this Mortalis Medusa class has an eight ounce kind of um, line here. I'm pretty much to about the nine and a half, ten ounce line. I would say that once I hit like the six to eight ounce line, I, I think this is going to be a little bit much for me. Can't taste the alcohol at all. It just tastes like a liquid, liquefied carrot cake in a tart, we'll say a tart IPA form. I just, <clears throat> I'm just choked us. A choke death. Um, we'll say, we won't even say IPA because maybe there's a little bit of like an earthiness or like a slight bittering sensation on the back of the palate. I wouldn't tell you this is an IPA if I was doing it, a uh, blinder as a whodunit uh, beer review. I think I would just say this is like a fruited sour of some sort. I think flavor wise, this is fucking close to a five out of five. But there's some things that are going to stop it from getting a super high rating for me. Number one, it's fucking crazy sweet. Number two, it exploded on me. Fuck you for exploding on me. And I kept it cold the entire time. So, and I, you know, a lot of times you go to buy it at so you know, I brought it right from Mortalis, put it into my cooler. And the day I bought it, it was, you know, whatever, 15 degrees outside. So it was in my cooler, brought it home, put it right into my beer fridge. And I kept this one in my colder beer fridge. That's like 38 or whatever. It hasn't moved since then. I didn't mishandle it. So the fact that it exploded, whatever. Um, but it's too sweet. There's... It's not all that complex. It's just liquefied carrot cake, which I love carrot cake, so I enjoy the flavors, but the sweetness is just too much. And plus the body and mouthfeel are lacking. So as high as I want to go on this one is probably still going to be quite high, but I think for me, it's not as high as I thought it was going to be just because of those factors, the body, the mouthfeel, the sweetness. So flavor-wise, five out of five, but as a whole carrot cake uh, within the Tears of the Goddess series, so Tears of the Goddess, the carrot cake variant, I have no problems giving this a high 4.25 out of 5. Go 4.3 out of 5. Can't go much more higher than that. Uh, like I said, flavor standpoints like 4.9 or maybe even a 5. But it has to get knocked down multiple pegs because of the body, the mouthfeel, and the sweetness. And it's a sour IPA. I get a little bit of the IPA. It's only tart, not sour. I don't know if that would actually make this better. But the fact that if you just call this a fruited, heavily fruited sour ale with flavors of carrot cake, I'd be more inclined to maybe give this a higher rating or like it more, but just not the case. So price availability, this was $20 for four pack, which is a bit cheaper than a lot of those heavily fruited sour ales you see out there. Uh, excuse me, both, most of their like hydras and $25 a four packs so or $20 a four packs fine. Um, you know, going rate anyway in this market and the availability, I have no idea. I know Mortalis is starting to get distro all over the place. Um, we see them here now at Brewed and Bottled in Lewiston, New York locally, a couple other places, but I did pick this up from the brewery, so definitely at the brewery. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. Do you like carrot cake? Do you not like carrot cake? Poke in, post, poke, post in the comment section. I think I'm a little frazzled because of the explosion, and I hate jump cuts, but it's kind of necessity. I didn't want the liquid to go all over my floor, so I got it before that happened, but I think I'm a little bit frazzled. First time it happened, like I said, since I've come back to that extent, so whatever. Fuck, it doesn't matter. Anyway, like I said, if you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. It's a fun interesting beer i just thought it was gonna be way better than i anticipated and i'm I, I smelled it and i tasted it i'm like oh yeah carrot cake and then i'm like oh this is wrong that's wrong what's going on with it what's going on with it is that it's not exactly what i thought it was gonna be still really good just not as good as i thought so anyway appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the beer patrol stop by next wednesday for another west new york wednesday we have a couple more uh mortalis beers to get through like i said over the next month or so uh but i i have another carrot cake beer that i'll be reviewing next wednesday and it's from the fifth frame brewing company we'll see if it's better than this who knows? Anyway, till the next one. Cheers.